Hi guys, Rishi Sunak is in big trouble. He seems to have taken one step forward and two back. He was somewhat on top of the world when his new Home Secretary delivered a harsh immigration plan that would see the NHS, social care and other sectors in a more difficult position to find staff by throwing more obstacles in the way of those seeking to settle in Britain and fill jobs that are currently vacant. So what happened? Well, a Tory rebellion helped defeat the government on a motion to set up a new body to compensate victims in an infected blood scandal. The majority was tiny, but it meant that 23 Tories ignored the three-line whip and voted with the opposition. The ayes to the right, 246. The noes to the left, 242. <laughs> The eyes to the right were 246, the nose to the left were 242, so the eyes have it. Unlock. Wonderful news. Wonderful news for the victims. Unfortunately, some of the victims are no longer with us uh, as a result of this blood scandal, blood infection scandal. Um, but it does mean that a body or a commission will be set up in order to make sure that these people are compensated, the ones who are still alive and their families. So this is great news for those. Um, it's terrible that so many MPs voted against it. Do they have no conscience? But anyway, back to Rishi Sunak. This is bad news for him because this is the first major rebellion against the current Prime Minister. And he's not doing very well in the polls either. Within the Conservative Party, um, support for him has completely collapsed in minus figures. So I think it was last week there was a poll carried out um, from Conservative Home which polled members of the party, not members of the public, but members of the party, and he was in positive figures. This week he's in negative figures and pretty down there. Um, strangely, Kemi Badenoch seems to be at the top of the poll at the moment, probably because she's repeating r r rubbish about Brexit and uh, she's keeping very, very quiet about things. But this is very bad for Rishi Sunak, and it's possible that if he faces more rebellions like this, um, he'll be out, out before the general election. He's planning to go into to fight the next general election, but he could be out before that because if he starts, if it starts to be the case that he's not able to get legislation through, and this there was a three line whip on this vote, and twenty three, I think it was twenty two or twenty three MPs from his party denied the whip, refused to go along with the with the government, defied the whip, sorry. And this is pretty serious because there was a three-line whip. There is a risk that they would lose their lose the whip. They will be out on their ear, but maybe they won't because Rishi Sonic is a bit weak. So he could try and remove the whip from them. Uh, that's not going to help him really. But if he doesn't do anything, it's not going to help him either. He'd be seen as weak. But they are openly defying him. They're voting with the opposition on bills like this. So I think it's really getting, we're really getting to the end of, of days for, for Rishi Sunak. And he may, he may actually be out before the next general election, which would be interesting to see. Who would take over? Who would want to take over? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.